This is our Forex blog for October 23rd, 2014. These are our currency indexes, which in my opinion is one of the easiest ways of trading using our software. Uh, and in, in addition, we also have uh, very good uh, trading signals. I'm going to just briefly show the main four pairs that most people trade, the Euro Dollar, Pound Dollar, Euro Yen, and Pound Yen. And we'll scroll back and start from yesterday. Uh, the key to trading doesn't matter whether it's stocks, futures, forex, or anything else, is having small risk and bigger uh, profits. You know, your risk versus your reward. Uh, when your reward is one and a half to two times or more on average than your your risk, and when you're forty percent and higher winning, you're going to make money. It's that simple. And when you're you know, over fifty percent winning, and you have you know, trades that are one and a half to two times, sometimes three times. In this instance, look, your risk is about 10 pips, and we made 10, 20, 30, 40 something pips. Again, risk, and this one didn't generate more profit, but the average of all those wins is significantly more than what the risk is. And also notice that a lot of times when the trades they don't work, Here's your initial risk. Notice just in a few bars, you know, the, the stop comes down near break even. Let's take a look at this one today. Here's a, a trade that didn't really work. Here's your initial risk. But we actually only lost this much. So that's what's beautiful about high probability trading systems. Um, you know, here's a trade where this is your risk and this is your reward. So you lost a little bit. You got that back on this one plus some. Uh, and even though the euro dollar didn't do that well today because it was a pretty choppy uh, market, um, you know, it still made money. And here it went long um, and got out with a very tiny profit, flipped and went short, which sometimes happens. And you can see that is already in uh, profit and it's still, you know, could go lower, could come up and hit the stop. Uh, it's probably going to make a little bit more than this, but uh, probably not a whole lot at this time of the day. I'm just going to briefly showcase some of the other ones. Uh, the pound was a tricky one the last two days, so I'll showcase this, you know, just to illustrate. Even on bad days, uh, you can see here it made a little bit, let's go back a little farther. Uh, went short here, made money. Went short here, made money. Went short here, pretty much broke even which by the way does not count as a win so it doesn't improve the winning percentage but uh, it doesn't hurt you. Uh, here we have a very tiny loss and we went long right here another tiny loss uh, long right here another tiny loss you know so I just want to showcase you know the good and the bad uh, in the system but if you looked at the euro dollar wins and losses uh, yesterday minus the tiny amount lost in the um, euro I mean, a pound dollar, uh, you know, you're up a lot. So here's today. Right, let's go back two days in this one, too. Yesterday, uh, starting at midnight here, made a little bit of money. Short right here, lost it a little bit. But what's, what you should notice is the initial risk is this. But this is how much you lost. One-third, one-fourth what the initial uh, risk was. So you can see this trade here. That's initial risk made a very little about a little bit of amount of money here's initial risk on here it lost but it lost less than the entire amount we went long right here lost short here lost again but then got that uh, those two losses back on this trade we're left with a small win on this one an astronomical uh, win here and then another uh, tinier uh, 10 pip win here so again, when you take all the trades into consideration, uh, and I haven't even shown you one of the more fun ways of trading yet, here's the uh, pound yen. Let's take a look at this the last two days. Big profit, big profit, very small three to five pip profit, uh, tiny loss, 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 you know, win, win, that's what oftentimes happens. A uh, huge win right here. Notice we're short at 06 and out at 81. It's 25 something pips. Very small 5 pip loss here. 
uh, which you got back here when you went in at 03 and got out at 43. You made 40 pips. One nice trade like that can get rid of four or five tiny losses. And a lot of the times, the losses are very, very tiny compared to here. Here you can see you would short here at 09, got stopped out at 09. Pretty much a break even. You know, maybe a fractionally uh, pip loss. And so you went long right here, 66, got stopped out at 64, you lost two pips. Then you went long right here at 90, got stopped out at 30, 40 pips, another 20 pips. And so that's what's beautiful about uh, having small losses and bigger wins. And when you use our currency indexes and meters on, on top of this, of our signals, you're going to have much better results. You can almost anticipate future trend direction. Uh, for instance, the yen was trending up, had trouble getting above the swing high, and then broke from above to below the hourly. It was above the hourly for a long time, and so, you know, it's a trend that's likely to go down at least two waves. So, somewhere around four, and in the few hours after that, you're looking for a very strong currency to be, um, you know, buying against the yen, because the yen's always on the bottom. Yeah, one of those currencies was the euro, which went, you know, it's pretty much above the hourly, had a little bit of a drop right here, and then, you know, it was above the hourly. So that's why if you uh, were looking for uh, euro yen trades, all you got to do is just, you know, focus on, on the currency that's strong like this. And our system was already in this trade before for 342 was already in. But if you weren't um, in and you looked at this chart and and you notice that it was already in a trade, you already have your trailing stop, you know, you could have bought the breakout right here. You know, you would have paid up there 15 pips from where we got in, but uh, it was a huge win. And then in the next trade right here, another 20 pips. Um, you know, and that's really the, the key to trading. Using the currency indexes to help find some of the, the best currencies and then trade them against the weak ones. Uh, you can see the Australian was just going choppy right here. It broke out from underneath above its hourly and, you know, it was trending up. The uh, yen was weak, so you're looking for Australian yen uh, buys. Now, I don't have this one, uh, the signals loaded, so I'm just going to bring up a five-minute chart. But basically, when you see uh, a currency that's uh, likely to go up and the other one's likely to go down, you know, you're, you're looking for breakouts or pullbacks so you have a breakout right here a very tiny 10 pip risk and you made 10 20 30 40 you had the chance to make 40 pips uh, you might have bought this little pullback right here it went up and went sideways you move your stop underneath here you pretty much lost uh, a pip or two or broke even or maybe made a pip or two pulled back notice it really could not go underneath that little low right here when it breaks out you get in again and then once it's made a big move like that, you can always draw your fibs, and you already have your risk versus reward uh, determined. Here, you're in. This is your risk, and it's likely to go at least to the first fib target. So even before getting into this trade, you know you're likely to make three times more profit than the risk. And so on those instances, uh, and when the currency index supports it, you can trade a little bit bigger. Uh, so that's another benefit of trading. If you lose 10 pips with one lot, and make 30 pips with two lots, um, you, you know, you have a substantially uh, profitable day. So that's it for today's Forex blog. I'm not going to do them every day, but I'm going to try to do them more than I have been in the past, which uh, I've been working so much on our Forex signals that I've ignored the business. We're not doing any marketing right now. We're just trading and improving our signals. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to try to do at least one or two uh, forex blocks per week and try to showcase uh, a few days back in the major currencies just to show you how well our signals are doing most days. Now keep in mind you're going to have losses. It's unrealistic to expect not to, but when you're winning 20 and 30 pips and you're losing, you know, 1 to 8 pips somewhere in there depending on the trade because the stop always starts moving your way most of the time, you're going to do very well trading. It's that simple.